In Bangladesh, scientists say that within the next um, 10 to 20 years, 20% 20 of the land will go under sea water. It, it already started happening in the south. Islands are getting smaller. And in the north, the rivers are getting bigger. We are getting more erosion and more floods. That's why Bangladesh is, uh, you can say that it's the ground zero for the climate change. Every year, uh, schools are flooded for uh, three to four months. It happens during the monsoon season. We are now in northwest Bangladesh, and the school, uh, you can see over there, it is now under the flood of water. If the water level increases uh, within the next few days, the students who, have, who are still uh, in this class, they will not be able to come to the school. He was playing. <laughs> there are many uh, school dropouts in Bangladesh and it is because of uh, uh, regular flooding. During the flood last year, uh, there are 330 schools were completely destroyed and more than 4,000 schools were damaged. This is the reason I decided why don't we bring the school to the student? In, in the northwest Bangladesh, uh, there is not enough paved roads to serve these communities, so people have to depend on river and boats. Our school, both school is a combination of a school bus and schoolhouse at the same time because uh, it collects students from different riverside areas and finally dock, docking at a, uh, at a destination, it arranges onboard classes. This is our uh, grade one board school and uh, they are reading off a book on biodiversity. This is uh, one of the uh, books being uh, developed by our organization and uh, this is uh, completely focused on the river and uh, riverside pollution, biodiversity conservation. So what we can do actually to control the pollution like uh, keeping the latrines away from the water source, use of uh, river water for irrigation, identifying beneficial insects. Uh, we have uh, right now 42 boats in operation and another 46 is under uh, we are des designing it. But within this year, we'll have around 100 boats in, in operation. We have placed solar panel on the, on the top and we have a structure to hold the panels. And from the panel, uh, it comes to the... Uh, uh, here we have all the equipment in this box, the battery chargers, uh, uh, the uh, charge controller and inverters and uh, there is a, this is the battery batteries uh, store uh, the solar energy. In the board school we have uh, 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 a computer or laptop and uh, hundreds of books and they, with the computers they are getting everyday information. Uh, they, they are getting access to internet and they are getting newspapers of the internet. So they are keeping updated with the, what is happening within the country and also outside of the country. In Bangladesh, uh, the pressure on land is always high. At this moment, we have 1,209 people per square kilometer. And if the country, 20% of the country goes under water, which may happen within the next 10 to 20 years, where will the, these people will go? Because we don't have enough space, enough land. So people have to 
live on water in some way. Climate change is a global problem. Not only Bangladesh, the other countries should work together to address the climate change. Uh, we have to find solutions. For example, our uh, solution to address the climate change, the both floating education system or floating housing project, which can be adapted in other settings, which can be done in a big scale that many communities around the world can be benefited. Thank you. Um, I am from Bangladesh. Uh, the country is always affected by natural disasters and, and climate change has increased the flooding recent years and uh, now people have to uh, struggle to survive. And today I'm going to tell you about um, uh, our resilient community and initiatives that allow people to uh, access to uh, year-round education and information. Um, uh, we help people to uh, grow uh, flood resistant crops and also help them to adapt to the extreme conditions. Um, uh, it is very difficult to find Bangladesh on the map. It's a very little country. Uh, it is located in the South Asia and we has a very high density, density of population. Around uh, 162 million people living around 144 uh, square kilometer of area. Um, uh, more people live in Bangladesh than in all of Russia. And about 50% uh, of the population uh, live below the poverty line. And um, about 46% uh, of the uh, population live within uh, 10 meters above the sea level. And around 33% of the population live within uh, 5 meters above the sea level. Therefore, Bangladesh become uh, one of the most uh, flood prone regions uh, in, in the world. And, and there are on, on the map you can see there are hundreds of rivers flowing across the country. Uh, and um, uh, du during the monsoon, large, large parts of the country are submerged. <laughs> and uh, th the people uh, living uh, on the river basins, they do not have any access to education and information. Uh, roads to school get flooded uh, uh, during the monsoon and the flood prevents students from getting, uh, attending uh, classes for a few months. Uh, and, and, and this often result in, in school dropouts. Um, and um, at, at present, um, um, uh, one third of the country gets flooded during the uh, monsoon season, during the regular monsoon. And um, uh, during the extreme floods, uh, two thirds of the country goes under water, which happened in the year 2007. We, we had two big floods and uh, 10 million people were affected and 332 um, uh, schools destroyed, around 5,000 schools were damaged by that flooding. Um, and we have another big pro problem in Bangladesh, which is river erosion. Uh, it takes away around 100 square kilometer of land every year, resulting uh, 100,000 um, uh, landless people annually. Um, according to the, to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, things will worsen in near future. Uh, the southern Bangladesh will be uh, affected by cyclone and sea level rise and northern part of the country will be flooded uh, because of the uh, warming glaciers in Himalayas. Uh, and um, uh, over the next 38 years, 17% of the land will be lost to the sea resulting 20 million climate refugees. Um, uh, I am from the project area where we are working now uh, from a small village and um, I I saw many of my friends and relatives, they are uh, denied access to education. And it was very difficult for me to accept the situation. Uh, I thought if the children cannot come to school, then the school should go to them by boat. Uh, and it took me around four years to build, uh, to generate funds uh, uh, to build the first floating school. Uh, considering the other uh, basic needs of the community, um, uh, floating library, training center, healthcare, various income generating activities, uh, solar lantern were developed to help community to adapt the climate change induced flooding. Uh, this is a picture of floating school. Um, uh, it's a, a combination of a school bus, school house. It uh, collects students from different uh, riverside areas. And then finally docking at the end destination, it arranges onboard classes. 
um, and uh, after the class again it drops students at different places uh, and then it uh, goes another direction to pick other groups. This is the way a floating school um, um, works throughout the day and arrange three different classes. Uh, it, it, uh, it is a very well equipped classroom. It, it has a classroom for 30 students and the internet linked laptop, uh, books and educational resources. Um, the school provides education up to grade four and um, uh, it works six days a week. Uh, uh, our floating schools are using uh, solar energy uh, to run computers and, and this solar power enables the school to provide uh, late evening classes uh, for the working children. And, and um, so when school is done, many students take home the Richard's Sura Hurricane Solar Land Train. Um, and um, those who are getting good exam results receive this land train as scholarships. Uh, uh, we have floating libraries. Um, uh, floating library has all the facility of a standing library. It keeps moving to different riverside areas to cater the educational and information need of the community. Um, uh, this, uh, this library has um, uh, books, uh, computers with internet access, printer and mobile phones. Um, people learn computer skills, uh, send receive emails, uh, get access to uh, information on sustainable farming, biodiversity, um, exam results, uh, job opportunities, government process and services. Uh, we have uh, um, another kind of uh, training boat, we call it floating training center for the adult training uh, and uh, these floating training centers are equipped with um, um, internet linked laptops, uh, multimedia equipment, educational presentations. They teach farmers on sustainable, effective and ecologically friendly farming techniques including uh, a new kind of farming which we developed, uh, solar water farming and flood resistant crops. Um, uh, we have uh, internet linked uh, 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 laptop that provide, uh, that use the cellular network to provide connections between the user and agriculture experts. Uh, the trained farmers they are started, they have already, they are um, growing flood resistant crops uh, and uh, they are using mechanical means of controlling insects uh, which has reduced the pesticide uses and saved the beneficial insects. Well, we have another type of training program. At the evening, uh, we, we arrange uh, uh, evening educational shows on big sailcloth, and uh, people sit or stand at the riverbank and they watch uh, documentaries um, and other uh, uh, information uh, on the big sailcloth. Uh, this is a picture of solar water farming. Uh, uh, and and uh, in Bangladesh, uh, we have 50% uh, of population are landless and there is always growing demand on lands and, um, and, and around um, 8,300 uh, 8, um, uh, kilometers of waterways in our country and around 1.3 million of ponds. Uh, most of them are not utilized and we decided to use this as resources uh, to develop solar water farming uh, and to reduce the dependency on lands and, and create economic opportunities for the landless people. Uh, and uh, for this farming, it doesn't require any land. And, and um, at the same time, it, it takes less time as a fish, uh, poultry, and vegetables are done at the same time on water. The solar system here, it helps to, uh, to maintain the egg production and the, and, yeah, and the floating garden ensures the availability of uh, vegetables during the monsoon season. And this particular activity uh, uh, cre has created uh, 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 income, uh, 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 developed uh, assets, and um, um, uh, improved the quality of life and nutritional status of the landless families. And it has helped people to get out of extreme poverty and uh, help them to adapt with the uh, uh, flooding. This is a picture of, uh, we call it an uh, um, art ball. Uh, it is a semicircular earthen ball filled, partially filled with um, water hyacinth and soil where uh, farmer grow different types of vegetables. And, uh, uh, and, and three to four or, or uh, uh, art balls are grouped around a floating uh, poultry cube. Uh, we have created land access for the landless farmers and provided them with the agricultural inputs so that they can uh, grow flood raised in sugarcane. Um, uh, 
these are the improved variety uh, sugar cane and can stay under flood water for a few months. Uh, and uh, these variety have a very high sucrose content and it is um, uh, helpful uh, uh, during the period of flooding when the pure drinking, drinking water is not available. And um, with doctor and paramedic on board, the floating health clinic provides basic primary uh, health care. Uh, and uh, we also provide uh, medicine free to the patients. Um, in, in Bangladesh, around 70% of the rural population do not have access to grid electricity and they depend on the kerosene uh, lantern. We have developed um, a low cost uh, solar lantern, we call it Surya Hurricane, it means sun lantern. Uh, it, 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 it is um, uh, developed from the recycled parts of the much used uh, traditional uh, kerosene lantern. And we train rural women on manufacturing and marketing of this solar lantern. And um, they, they, they are working on the floating solar workshops. And, and Surahakin provides families with high quality light in the evening for children to study and women to stitch katha. Uh, uh, to generate income. Uh, it, it has created new business in the community and um, uh, it also helps people to, to ensure safe travel uh, uh, during the flooding period at night. And um, now because of our project, uh, girls and women now take, uh, now uh, they, get, uh, uh, they can get education and information uh, at, their, at their own doorsteps. Uh, uh, and the proximity of, the, of this facility illustrates the concern of their parents and guardians. And through our work, um, around 90,000 people are benefiting from improved education, um, increased in income, clean solar powered lighting, and uh, communication with the outside world. Uh, we have uh, integrated technology with the traditional ele elements of our society. Uh, for example, uh, conversion of traditional boats into classrooms, conversion of traditional creation, uh, hurricane lantern into solar. Here, traditional knowledge, labor, and materials are used to develop uh, user and culture friendly designs. Um, our approach in using uh, boats, um, uh, uh, solar energy, and um, solar water farming to adapt and cope with climate change and improve the quality of life uh, will serve as an inspiration to others. Um, uh, our work shows a uh, great potential for scaling up and replication uh, with regard to the millions of uh, client population, uh, millions of people affected by the climate change in Bangladesh and other countries. Thank you.